When was the last time you took a leap of faith trusting that everything is going to work out? Do you crave growth or are you merely content with the status quo? If you want more out of your life, out of your career, and out of your relationships, you are in the right place. Take the leap and discover how to create a life by design rather than living it by default. Real success starts with you. Now here's your host, Colleen Biggs. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Take the Leap. As always, oh my gosh, I am your host, Colleen Biggs, and we are just rocking out 2023 already. Um, And I hope all of you had a wonderful holiday. I hope that you really enjoyed uh, the time with your family and you got the presents that you wanted from Santa and um, that you are just looking at 2023 and saying, who do I want to be? Who do I want to be in 2023? And was I who I wanted to be in 2022? I, if you guys listen to my last episode, it was episode 65. And that episode was with Amy Stone. And we were talking about being a stepmom. And I'm going to get into that in just a minute. Uh, but before I do, I would like to thank our sponsor of our show, Phoenix Drone Pros. At Phoenix Drone Pros, we love what we do and are passionate about each and every drone photography and video shoot. We've been in business since 2017. Our talent and skills shows in the video production we deliver. We We offer fast service for commercial real estate, movies, events, and construction site monitoring. We also provide drone virtual tours that are all the rage right now. These virtual tours are great for team building and entertainment. Contact us today at phoenixdronepros.com to schedule your shoot online or get more information. We capture everything. Thank you, Phoenix Drone Pros, for being the sponsor of today's show. So like I was just saying, in episode 65, I had the pleasure of meeting with Amy Stone and talking about being a stepmother. And many of you heard me talk about being a stepmother at the age of 19, and then I was a stepmother again at the age of 36, and still am today. And um And my choice when I turned 36 was I was going to live my life every day the way Colleen wanted to live her life. That was what I was going to choose. I was going to live my life exactly the way that I wanted to live my life every single day. So when these beautiful children, these five children were brought into my life, I was going to be the stepmom that I desired to be. I was not going to ask their permission on who I could be or not be. I was gonna not going to let them dictate who I could be or who I could not be. Um, and I wasn't going to ask anyone for permission. I was going to love them unconditionally because that's who I was and that's who I wanted to surround myself with. And it worked. It worked brilliantly because Because today, I have very good relationships uh, with all of these children that are my stepchildren, um, and I have great, amazing relationships as their grandma for these tiny little grandkids that I have. And there just isn't a line that we've created um, in the family. It, It really spans the entire family. So you have Myself and my husband, and then you have um, my ex husbands, and then you have um, my husband's ex wife and her step um, and her husband, which would be their stepdad. And, you know, he had um, children come, I think four or five children coming into the marriage when he married my husband's ex wife. And so, you know, now they have all those grandchildren as well. And everyone's just one big happy family. There's really no need to separate who you um, are going to be and separate out children based on their bloodline. I really believe in life that if we believe in ourselves and we love ourselves, then we have the capacity to love others. When you know you're enough, you have the capacity to love others enough. And uh, I was speaking uh, back in December in California at a women's breakfast for SCORE. And um, at that breakfast, I uh, was talking about the subject of igniting your personal power. And when we talk about igniting your personal power, I'm talking about a little light, like a pilot light that you've got inside of you that's lit. And sometimes you might 
um, pull back from something and you might play a little small uh, because you're not confident in an endeavor or a business or uh, say you really want to start a business and you're in corporate America and maybe your your pilot light is just small and it's not really a burning inferno it's not you know you're not really adding any fuel to that fire because you're afraid um, and it isn't until you decide, that you can do it, that you believe in yourself and that you surround yourself with others that believe in you, that you take that leap. And then when you take that leap and you believe in yourself, then poof, your pilot light becomes this this fire that's inside of you. And you have this burning fire inside of you and this passion to grow this business. And you're going to show up every day for it um, fully. And you're going to have this burning desire. And then maybe you run into not being able to make the money you thought you were going to be able to make. And now your income is a lot lower than you anticipated. So your light that was burning this this fire, this inferno has gone down back to a pilot light. I believe we are going to spend our entire lives needing to fuel the powerful flame. The message today that I think is so crucial for you to hear is that it doesn't matter what is happening outside of your own body or your own being, what is happening with culture, what is happening with the government, what is happening with your neighbors, what is happening on social media, what is happening at your job, what is happening with um, people you're surrounding yourself with and whatever it may be in your church, in your faith. You can make excuses every day of the reason why I'm not blank, blank, blank. The reason why I'm not successful is because we're in a recession. The reason why I'm not skinny is because um, I don't I don't have access to healthy food. The reason why I'm not X, Y, Z is because of whatever. I could go on and name a thousand different ways that you can say, I'm not this because of this. And you will validate for the rest of your life that you're not. Or you could take responsibility. And when you take responsibility for you, and when you take responsibility for your actions and how you feel and how you approach something and your choice, then you own it and you have the power to change it. The lady at that breakfast that I started telling the story about, she came up to me afterwards and thanked me for um, the motivation and inspiration I left them with. And she said, you know, Colleen, there's this situation at work and it's just been making me so irritated. And in this moment, I realized today because of what you said that I have the power to change it. And I can. I can go into work on Monday and I can make the change. And then I don't have to put up with that anymore. And I said, good for you. I'm so glad that you saw today that you have the choice to change anything around you. You have the choice of how you see something, of how you react to something. You know, the big saying that says, it's not what happens to you that matters. It's how you recover. It's how you get up from it. It's how you um, recover from it, period. You, I've been through some of, you know, to me, the worst things in my life. I was born into an abusive family. Many of you listening to my podcast have probably have divorced parents. I've been through a horrible divorce where my dad moved across the United States and didn't want to see us. And my mom and dad fought all the time. And he didn't think I was worth $100 a month in child support. And we were on food stamps. And then I moved out and I then I wound up becoming homeless. And I mean, I could go on and on and on about all the tragedies that have happened in my life or... I could look back at my life and say, I'm so thankful that God placed me in a home where I was able to learn to to build strength in my belief in myself. Um, As life went on, I learned how to trust others. I'm glad that I've been through every single thing I've ever been through because it's built my character and it's molded me into who I am today. 
And if I didn't meet my first husband, I never would have my daughter and my two grandchildren with my daughter and my wonderful son-in-law. I would never um, have been on the path to have met my husband I'm married to today, to have um, his five beautiful children in my life from, you know, 2000. I'm sorry, was it 2000? Somewhere around there, 2008, nine. And be able to enjoy all the grandchildren um, that they've brought into my life today. So we can complain about coulda, woulda, shoulda until we're blue in the face. We can complain that everything around us is not ideal for us to be able to win. Well, it never will be. You just have to choose that you want to be a winner. You just have to choose that you want to uh, start that business. You just have to choose that you want to hit your goals this year. You just have to choose that you don't want that friend in your life anymore because every time you're around them, they are negative. They drag you down and you 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 don't feel like a better person. They They snuff out your light. You can choose to have friends in your life that allow your light to shine just as bright, if not brighter than theirs. You get to choose every day. And I think, you know, as we go through the, ho- as we went through the holidays, and I think of this any, every day anyway, what are some ways that I can do something special for not only myself, because we always leave ourselves out, right? But for people around me, you know, um, maybe even the ones that annoy me. And my voicemail on my phone, if anyone calls my phone, um, they'll hear my voicemail. And uh, the voicemail says um, to smile at someone today. That was the hardest part for me in the pandemic was wearing a mask and I would smile and people would see it in my eyes and I could kind of tell if they were smiling back, if they smiled with their eyes. But that was the biggest thing I missed was the ability to make somebody else smile by smiling. The minute you smile at someone, I promise you they will smile back. And we have, we really have two choices every day. And I, I have beat this into the ground. And I continue to stand on this soapbox to share this with you because we are either going to choose to wake up every day and know that we have the power to have a good attitude, that we choose to face the day with positivity, and we choose to um, win every day because life is happening for us. And I'm manifesting everything to me and creating this life that I desire. I'm in it right now. Or I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to believe that everything around me is the reason why I'm not getting what I want. And it's always somebody else's fault. And I promise you, when you validate it, you will always vibrate at a place that must attract because the law tells you it has to attract people, places, things, and events for it to be crappy and sucky. When you vibrate that it's everybody else's fault, it always will be. And you will always find a purposeful reason and validate it. There will always be evidence for it. And when you wake up and decide you want to win and you believe in yourself and you're going to approach the day with a positive attitude, then you will validate that as well. And you will find evidence as well. And you will attract people, places, things and events to you as well. So. I sold these signs that I give to my clients that are very special to me, and it's an I am enough sign. And I sold them at this breakfast in December because they had a boutique for the holidays, and um, they make great gifts. And one of the ladies that walked up from New York Life, she bought it and handed it to the lady standing next to her and said, I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to know that no matter what happens in your path, in your career here, that you are enough. And all you have to do is know that. And if you know that, she said, if you know that, everything else will work itself out. And I just thought that was really cool. I thought that was really cool that she wanted her to believe that she was enough. And I'm here to tell you today that you are exactly the way you are. You're enough. And you're the only one that can believe that. The only one. Uh, I asked my clients uh, last month, so tell me about 2022. What was the one thing that changed for you, whether you, you know, doubled your income or whether you launched, you know, TV shows or or events or whatever it is that you did that you had huge success in in 2022? What was the difference between 2021 and 2022? 
And by the way, nothing changed in the economy. In fact, for many people, the economy would tell you that it got worse, right? Because cost of living went way up. Unemployment was super high. And, you know, gas, food, you name it. Everything was more expensive. Just living in your home, electricity, uh, cost of goods, everything went up. And I asked her what changed. You know, how did you double your money in 2022 versus 2021? And her simple answer to that was, because I started believing in myself and that changed my conversations with people and I believed I could. And so I did it. It is that simple. It wasn't anything she learned differently. It wasn't anything other than she believed she could. So if you take one thing out of today, I want you to believe you can and go for it. Um, Because you're the number one thing, A, that we wear The sexiest thing we wear is confidence. The second thing is confidence will take you through every piece of success that you ever need to reach in your life. If you're confident you can do it, you believe in yourself, you just just tear forward. You just plow forward and stay in action and it will happen, I promise you. And if you are believing in yourself and you know you need more visibility for your brand and you need more visibility for for you, um, then the LEAP community is for you. That's what we do. It's foundational, being seen and being heard and being loved. And that's what we give you in the LEAP community. You get to collaborate. You're lifted by other women. You're supported by other women. In addition to that, you get numerous ways of being visible for your brand so that you attract the right clients. It's what it's all about. I'm not fishing for clients anymore. I'm attracting those clients to me that want to work with me, um, that desire to work with me because they're attracted to my type of energy. They're attracted to the way that I work with clients. And this is a a great thing for you to think about moving into 2023. How do you want to wake up every day? And what are you going to do to put your mindset straight so that you know every day is happening for you and not to you and you are enough? Well, that's all I have for today. And I want to thank all of you for joining me. And I'm excited. We're starting our 12-week year um, on January 16th. I'm excited for that to happen. If you haven't checked it out, look in the show notes below. Um, All of this is being created for you to crush your goals in the first 12 weeks of the year uh, when we push the gas pedal. And if you're not going to, you know, if you don't believe in yourself now, you will when you finish this 12 weeks. So make sure you click on the link and check that out. And until next time, everyone. Be you and be strong. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery, where you learned the tools to create a life by design. Remember, you are the only you there is, and you are the only you that will ever be. Be you and be strong, because you are brilliant, and the world needs you at your best. We cannot wait for you to join us again next time.